Okay, right, how to balance a cue, put the weights in the cue. Uh, this is the way I test the cue. These are weights that I tie onto the butt of the cue, um, onto the blank, I should say, to test which weight they need to be. Now, this is the this, this is a maple blank, right? And I've weighed it, and it's actually 14 ounces, this, this blank. So now all, what I'll do is I'll tie the weight onto the cue. The first weight, it's just slightly up from the bottom of the queue. This is how I do it. I try it with this weight, which is, uh, I think this is half, just over half an ounce. This one's just over an ounce. Put the weight at that position. Cue plays well there. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll just put the weight. You know the weight played all right down there, I, I tried further up because uh, it doesn't mean to say that's the best place for the weight to go. Now I'll try the cue further up. Okay. Now the weight further up. That plays much better, it's uh, much more direct so obviously the weight's better there. Now I'll try it with a bit heavier weight on just to see. Stop. So, now that I know that the cue works better with the weight higher up, I've tried a little bit heavier weight just to see if that makes any difference. Because um, the weight of the cue, you know, sometimes it depends on the weight, on how much weight's in it. But when you ask for a cue with 18 ounces, it doesn't mean to say that the cue is going to work best at 18 ounces. Uh, sometimes the cue will work better at 17 ounces, sometimes it'll work better at 18 and a half. But says that, that's, that depends on the shaft, depends on the ash, and it depends on Basically, the cue maker, he know if he's a good cue maker, where the, what way the, play, he'll play, the cue will play the best at. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good weight. That's going to be about 17, 17 and a half ounces. Uh, that's where the weight needs to be on this cue when I put the butt on, so I'll show you how to put the weight in when I put the butt on. Finish. Yeah, I've been asked to show you uh, by a friend of mine how to weight a cue. These are weights I've just made, I uh, drilled into a piece of wood. These are 10 mil bits. Next thing I'll do is drill into here, um, and it'll roughly go out here, where the weight goes. Drill the centre there. Now what I'll do there is I'll do a pilot hole first for the bigger drill to follow and it'll be a, a ten and a half mil bit and I'll be drilling through <coughs> and then I'll be putting the weights in, I'll show you. Right, there's the first three pilot holes. Now I'll put the bigger holes in to fit the weights in. This is epoxy resin I use for the weights and what I tend to do is sprinkle some it's very fine dust in it, right? No, I found that this helps to bind it a bit better and it gives something for the, the splices to stick to a bit better instead of just the lead, right? Now what I've done is I clamped a little bit of wood on the bottom, right? And then I've put the lead in and poured the glue into where the lead's going. Now as you, as you, as you look at the weights it looks a bit messy and tidy but this will set um, the thing is it makes it really really nice tight fit uh, it's good you do get bits of wood chipping out when you're putting this putting the uh, the holes into the wood but you just fill them this is probably this one of the best ways to put the weight in I've put three leads in here this should make this cue about 17 and a half 18 ounces as you as you as you're looking at it there the weight isn't exactly where I wanted it um, Basically, that's, that's basically it. That's how to put the weight in. That is set. Now, the thing about lead is you can actually plane it with a wood plane. Uh, it's not a problem to plane lead with a wood plane. Uh, so, when you finish, you can plane the excess off. And uh, any little divots you can fill as you're doing it. But this is probably, I like to say, one of the best ways to weight the cue. Now if you look at that, that's all the little gaps filled. Yes, there's a bit of excess glow in there, but I'm worried about that. Once I plane it down, that'll be perfect. Um, the other side's be spot on. I'll just need to plane that down as when just a thin, very fine little slither off. I'll take the glow off, then I'll put the other two sides on and glow it up. <coughs> that's how to weigh the cue.
that's a uh, three bits of wood three bits of metal put in plain down plates of lead with the, the compact ground up to keep them tight that's planed off but if you look at the top of the splices you've got that one to the top split point no you've got that one to the the second down point uh, and that one to the to the next top point the reason for that is these two sides will be getting put on first these ones here um, and then when I've put them in I'll put the side ones I plane them to the to the top splice top point what that does is means I can get the bottom of these the, the bottom of these in line these bits at the bottom the points I can pull them in line they're not far off there so there's not much to do with these in fact they're pretty good actually so that's why I leave the top of this one a little bit shorter so I've got a little bit to play with so I can get them perfectly in line